Hey guys, Men of Tech here and welcome to the channel and to another video. So this one is going to be about iOS 13.4.5 which has been released today. This is the public beta version and I'm going to be installing it on this device. This is the iPhone X and also review what are the major changes that came with this iOS 13.4.5 public beta update now you're probably wondering why do we have 13.4.5 last week apple actually published ios 13.4.1 to everyone so anyone could basically download that software and install it in their device the reason why apple decided to jump three possible ios 13.4 versions is unknown but a wild guess is that these versions aren't yet ready to be published and released to the public and to developers and better testers. So Apple has decided to release 13.4.5 beforehand so that it can get time to work on those updates. And when they are ready, Apple should be able to release them. And also this time around, we've already seen iOS 13.4.5 developers beta version one and also developers beta version two, but 13.4.5 the first public beta actually came out today so that's another thing worth taking note of and i don't know why apple actually decided to do that so let's go ahead and see what this update comes in as if we go into the settings and then we go to the general we can go to software updates to get details and then we see that this software actually comes in at 3.37 gig that is quite massive and it's quite a big update. Now, the reason for this is that most of the issues that were actually covered in iOS 13.4.5 developers beta version one and version two are being incorporated into this public beta version. So all those updates and changes that came with iOS 13.4.5 beta one and beta two are being incorporated into this iOS 13.4.5 public beta version. That's why it comes in at 3.37 gig. And also this space that is 3.37 gig isn't going to be added to the software storage space that's already taken up by the previous iOS version. It's simply going to be written on top of that. So it's going to overwrite what was there. Now, if you go ahead and go back and go again to settings and then to general and go to about, we can see that what we currently have with iOS 13.4.1, we have the software version as 17E262. And the modem firmware that we have here, if we scroll down, we can see that we have 3.04.02. Now let's go ahead and download this update and see what major changes come with this software update. Okay guys, so we've now updated our device to iOS 13.4.5 public beta. And so let's quickly see what has changed this time around. And if we go into the settings, we can see that the software version now displays iOS 13.4.5 before it was 13.4.1. So we've skipped three versions here. And then also if we go back into the about section, we can see that the software version is now 17F5044D. And before that, we had the software version as 17E.262. So as you can tell, we have a D at the end. And what that means is that this is a less stable build that we have on file. So this is not a software that you would want to install on your main driver as it's a less stable build. We do expect issues and bugs to arise when we have a D since a D falls on the lower end of the stability margin. And then if we scroll down, we can see that the modem firmware has actually been updated before we had 3.0. 04.02 and now we have 3.05.0 and that's a small improvement in the modem firmware and usually what modem firmware fixes it usually fixes issues such as bluetooth and wi-fi so if you're having issues that have to do with bluetooth and wi-fi hopefully this improves 
and solves out some of your issues. I do have a video in the works about how to improve your network performance that I'm working on. So stay tuned to the channel and please subscribe below so that you don't miss the video and others to come. And one of the issues that I was actually facing on this iPhone X on the previous iOS version, which was 13.4.1, was that sometimes this phone was like heating up a little bit and just with light usage and that's not very normal so i was thinking maybe it had to do with the previous version but this time around the phone didn't really heat up that much the only time it heated up was when i was installing the ios version and that was a big update and that's very normal for the phone to heat up but so far the temperature is normal i've been using it for some time now and i can't tell that it's heating so hopefully that was a bug and it has been fixed now if we go into the music Music app we can see that we now have an option to share our song that we are playing directly to Instagram so the music app also used to have a sort of delay and latency you know you would click and then you get like a white screen and or a black screen and then it opens up later so that latency has been improved as you can see it opens up uh, more instantly as you can see so i actually don't use apple music but if you do you can quickly just press these options here and then if you have a song that you are playing you can quickly share it to your instagram stories and your friends and those that follow you will be able to get it on their instagram highlights now another issue that i noticed that was fixed has to do with the mail app as you can see i currently have 11 emails i did open it and refresh my emails page and i noticed that yes i do have 11 unread emails this issue with the mail app was actually there before and then it was sort of fixed but then it came back with the previous ios 13.4.1 update so hopefully it continues to remain fixed as it is another notable change that has come with this update is with pages and keynote so if you use pages and keynote that has been updated to support iCloud file sharing so that you are able to quickly and easily share files to your iCloud and incorporate them into folders so that's good that that has been updated and then when it comes to battery health and battery percentage if we go into my settings and see what I currently have now now before the update I had 88% as my battery health and then if we go there we can see that I currently still have 88% as my battery health percentage so that has not yet changed but again usually these software updates don't affect your battery health percentage that much what they do is they introduce a recalculation that basically rechecks your maximum battery health capacity i did do a video on the channel that can show you how many charge cycles your phone has so if you're looking forward to buying a second hand phone or you basically want to know how many times your phone has been charged to maximum capacity you can check out the video it's still live on the channel and yeah so basically my battery health so far hasn't been doing too bad it's still more or less the same but again i expect this software version to come with some bugs and issues so it's sort of too early to tell but we'll see how well we do throughout the week and then i'll update you in the comments section below or in the description description of this video or on my social media feeds now when it comes to performance I unfortunately expect performance to drop a little bit as you can see this version should come with quite a number of bugs and issues so most of the people that I've seen that have tested this iOS 13.4.5 the beta version did score a good multi-core performance test but however when it came to a single core that did drop a little bit so performance wise I I don't expect to see an improvement however I do expect a slight decrease but again this is still an estimate I'm still to test it out and see what has improved and whether we have an improvement or a decrease in performance so basically that's about it when it comes to this iOS 13.4.5 this is the public beta version I do expect to see the official release of this iOS 13.4.5 
on the 24th of this month and that is when the iphone se begins sales it's going to begin on the 24th which is next week friday so if we are to see ios 13.4.5 officially being released we might see it then however it's also possible that we can get some other versions during this uh, period here between the 20th to the 22nd so we could also see some other ios versions that apple has skipped but i doubt that that is highly likely so we'll just wait and see what happens so basically that's about it when it comes to ios 13.4.5 thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video please leave a like below and please subscribe to the channel so that you get the latest videos as soon as we release them and thank you very much for watching and reaching this far into the video stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next upload peace